Hey my loves, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be doing a cable only glute workout. If you're new to my channel, make sure you click that subscribe button to join the family. So for our first exercise, my tip for this one would be make sure you're putting all the weight on the heel that you're standing on and then the other leg that's doing the kickback. I see a lot of people doing this and um you want to see how my toe is straight it's not pointing forward so really the weight is being pulled by my heel if that makes sense this workout is great if you're traveling and have um, a low maintenance gym or let's say you have an apartment that has a low maintenance gym so i know some people that do have a cable machine in their house so if you do have one in your house that's great and just another note, you know, you'll see a lot of people or girls do different versions of the same ex of this exercise, and it's not that they're wrong. It's just that they're targeting different muscle groups. Okay, so next we have cable deadlifts. When you're doing these again with the heel tip, make sure all make sure like the back of your legs and your heel is doing most of the work. When you're using your arms to do the deadlift, don't bend your arms, keep them straight as much as you can. This is also a great lower back workout and if you're doing it properly, you should be feeling it more in your glutes than your hamstrings. And after that, we're gonna go into a deadlift cable squat. When you're doing these, make sure that your back is straight, your arms are also straight, don't bend your arm, make sure that your legs are doing all the work. You can't really tell with this angle, but this exercise and the other exercise, my toes are pointing outward. So all the weight and my heels are doing most of the work. If you do bring your toes inward and lean forward, it will target more on your quads. So next we're gonna do a cable squat. This one, you have to make sure that you put yourself in the right comfortable position and you like you want to be close to the cable as much as you can but not too close because the closer that you go to it, the more it will target your butt and like I said, throughout this, work, uh, this video, you'll see similar exercises but then again, they're targeting different muscle groups so keep that in mind. And if you've been watching my videos, you always know that I say make sure you're squeezing throughout the whole workout. You want to squeeze when you're going down into a workout and when you get to the top of a workout. It's very important. Next, we're doing alternating crossover lunges. When you're doing these, I suggest you do them slow and controlled because these will be a little bit tricky if your balance isn't great, like me, for example. So I prefer to do these slow and controlled. And just a reminder again, when you go down and up, and if you're putting if you're putting your weight on your toes, like I said, it's gonna focus more on your quads than if you're putting it on your heel, it will do more of the back of your legs. So I'm gonna show you guys another different version that you can do, which is just simple lunges if you're not comfortable doing crossover lunges. This workout you can also add this um, lunge as well if you want that extra burn. I love doing both which is really great. Sometimes I'll alternate and I'll do it so it hits my quads and then I'll do it so it hits my butt. So this is another version of the alternating cable um, lunges. I wanted to do these just to get, get my experience because I see a lot of girls doing them as well. Me personally, I felt this more in my quads, but I don't know, it was a little bit awkward. So I feel like maybe this is the one of those exercises where you need to do it a few times so you get comfortable with it. Okay, so I love this exercise. So 
mainly why is because if you're doing it properly it will hit just your glutes which is amazing so you want to have your toes pointing out again make sure your heels are doing all the work keep your arms straight don't bend your back um, my tip would be when you're holding the rope point your your hands straight so you're not bending inward with your wrists or anything like that and then again make sure you're squeezing your glutes when you go down and you go back up that's really important and side note don't try not to bend your knees too much that's another tip I always you know sometimes when you're doing a workout you always need to you forget so just remember that and then we're gonna do the same thing but kneeling down so with this exercise ladies it's completely fine when you do it when you try for the first time it will definitely feel awkward so you need to just do it a few times until you get comfortable with it and then you'll start to feel it into your glutes when i first started doing this exercise i felt it more in my like lower back and my quads and then once i opened my legs wider um my feet were like kind of touching a little bit so which kind of helps and again make sure your arms are straight and your wrists are firmly onto your hips okay so with this exercise um, when I you can see that I have a really low weight and the reason why is because when I tried using the second plate as well it was a little bit too hard and for exercises like this I prefer to do a lower weight and do higher reps so I suggest you do even though I said 10 to 15 or 15 to 20 reps you want to try to do 20 to 25 reps and then you really feel the burn in them so that's my tip and also you see how my my foot is straight it's not bend it's not tippy toeing that's very important just the same as a cable kick back like i was saying make sure it's straight and it's not tippy toeing With this exercise, some people like to do a standing up. I personally like to do a leaning forward. The reason for that is when I do a standing up, I feel it. I feel my lower back muscles contracting more, which I don't like. And obviously, I wanted to hit my side glutes more. So that's why I'm leaning forward. Another tip would be when you're doing these, try not to swing your body. I, I made a mistake of swinging a few times, but yeah, try your best to just stay still and only let your hips do the movements. So for our last exercise, this honestly is a love-hate relationship. You can't tell by this angle, but I'm leaning forward just a little bit. So my legs look skinnier because I'm leaning forward. And the reason why is because you know how sometimes some people like to do the squat and then come straight up when i'm doing these i like to it's hard to explain but i like to keep with this one i don't squeeze at the top and i find it that it burns more i don't know if i'm really making sense but yeah i just i just like to lean forward a little bit when i'm doing just this particular exercise and with the cable you can have it in front of you or behind you it really doesn't matter it just depends on your comfortability level or comfort your comfort level okay Okay, my love, so that is pretty much it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos. Comment down below which exercise is your favorite. And I hope to see you in my next one. So I